What's going on guys? So paint is cured. Okay, it's not cured. Uh to dry to the touch, but it's only been overnight. But uh yeah, I think it looks pretty awesome. Took the uh tape off the power button and I didn't exactly fully mask off the infrared sensor, but I just cut out like a little rectangle and covered at least most of it there. So anyway, let's go ahead and take apart the actual system and put in the water block. All right, so the uh, bottom piece, I've got one here. There's no screws that hold it on, it just pops off. Well, it doesn't just pop off, you have to basically rip it off. And then you've got five or six of the long green screws. Go through here, here, there's a spot here, over here, that hold the top case on, that comes off. So now we're just down to the uh, internals. And I did hear something rattling around. I guess that's because I never put the uh, the little bracket that the hard drive is attached to and it actually screws into place. Because I don't know where it is. I took it off when I put this in the PC case way back when. And I guess I just, yeah, it's just been sitting in there. But it's no big deal. Anyway, now we'll go ahead and remove this for drive power supply, remove the other screws that hold in this stuff. There should be one that kind of holds the back of this bracket and a couple holding this in. And then we'll remove the four screws just like on the 360s that go through where the X clamp is. And then we'll be able to pull the motherboard out then take the X clamp off and take out our original heat sink here. So yeah. All right, got our drive removed, hard drive unplugged, taken out, same with our power supply. And now this is why most systems are the same. People always ask, can I water cool or can I do this to this system or that system? Um, I mean, they're pretty much relatively the same. It all comes down to really finding like a water block that fits and then just finding a way to attach all this stuff to it. Um, everything is going to have a, a drive, some sort of power supply. Um, obviously the 360s didn't have a power supply on the inside. But for the most part, everything's just filled with some sort of heat sink, DVD drive, uh, hard drive, something like that. Now the reason um, I'm building this on here, and then like I said, I want to put it on the like a Series S... It's exactly the same, so just like the digital version of the 1S, it's exactly the same. They just literally didn't put a drive in it, and they there's no slit to put a disc in. Um, literally, it's just big, op open, empty space right here. So, the Series S is not really like that. It doesn't have just like a, a missing drive, because there is no drive version of the Series S. It just has a bigger power supply and a bigger heat sink, and then the, uh, uh, it doesn't have a big hard drive, but you know, the SSD and all that, so, other than that, it's pretty much the same, once you remove a heat sink on something, you've got a lot more room, water block takes up less space, I mean, uh, but obviously you need other stuff on there, but I think this is way cooler than just having this thing on there. So anyway, uh, I'm stalling a little bit because I remembered I don't know where the other mounting screws are for this water block. I had enough for the two Fat360 water blocks, like the one on the eyeball and then the one on uh, the Stealth Xbox that we'll get into. That's the old um, like day one release 360. So, I don't know, I even looked in my couple drawers of screws, and I just don't know where they are. These came with regular Phillips head machine screws that were the perfect length to fit inside here without, you know, being able to over-tighten these too much. 
So basically, I'm just going to take one off of the Stealth Xbox that has the water block installed, but that's all that's really done to that one so far. And that's one we're going to dive into once this one's complete. So we're going to compare this one to the Budget uh, 1S, and then we're going to compare the Eyeball one to the other 360, the Stealth one. But anyway, I'm going to take one screw off of that, and I'll have to go and to our local Ace, to the Isle of Screws and washers and just compare that to other ones and buy myself four four more of those so I can put this one in okay guys so I can do all this stuff when I'm terrible at math I took one of the screws off of the water block on this uh, this is the other Xbox the stealth build I talked about Took one of these off so I could take it to the store and get some more screws. They didn't have the exact same length, so I got the ones that were slightly shorter and the ones that were slightly longer. And I got six of each because I, I need four for the one going in the Xbox One. And I don't actually have all the ones for this one. For some reason I needed, I thought I needed six. I actually need eight, but whatever. So I only have four of the ones that actually come with these blocks. There, there's three left on here and then this one. Um, so I'm just going to take the other three off of this block and use these four that were actually meant for it on the Xbox One, on the slim water block. And then we'll just I'll just have to go back and get two more of either the longer or shorter ones to complete what's on here. So, anyway, got the screws. I also got longer ones, excuse me, that uh, are going on the fan and radiator. Because uh, they're the exact same thread, and for whatever reason, they included a bunch with that radiator, and they are not even close to the right size. <laughs> so, that's a bummer, but whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and take off our heatsink now and put on our water block now that we have the screws. Okay, got the water block installed, and like I said, these fittings are for the reservoir, but I am all out of 90 degree fittings, so I had to order some more, and I gotta wait for those to come in tomorrow, so we'll finish this video by um, putting the analog sticks on the controller, and also repairing the button on this controller. Alright guys, so I took this one apart, um, these are just such a pain compared to the 360 controllers, there's two boards in it that are held together, or held, connected to each other with these short little wires, so, but there's other screws underneath the first circuit board, anyway, it's a huge pain, and as you know, these have, uh, rockers in the normal spot, but they are not connected with a two pin, so you could just unplug them, they're just soldered, uh, soldered straight to the board and then there's two more rockers in the triggers but anyway so what I did here uh, I put these two buttons back in I didn't want to just have the A button I thought the X button would look cool since it's blue and kind of matches got the aluminum thumbsticks which there was nothing wrong with the other ones but this just I think looks a lot better this button now clicks just as good as all the other ones um, and it worked before but you know it was uh it just didn't, you had to kind of click it slightly harder than the other ones, and now it feels a lot better. I replaced the bumpers with the Galaxy ones that came with this kit. Um, I don't know why I didn't do it before. I thought it just didn't really fit, or I don't know, but I got it to work. Triggers are great now. This one no longer gets stuck at all. Uh, this one was never had an issue. As you can see, um, to match the blue, I took the side grips off of my other personal controller which was a mix of the blue and the wood grain which this is another one this is just like my spare one that I'll have to take apart anyway and kind of clean out and redo a little bit as you can see this top faceplate wasn't exactly for the one S so there's just like this exposed part which I kind of liked but yeah I don't know I'm that one's really dirty I'll have to fix that Anyway, my other personal one is the other one I'm going to be taking apart here in a second. The with the clear and the red for our other build. But uh, anyway, so we just have the one black trigger. Um, I don't know. 
I could have put the other one black as well, but I think it's nice. Got the blue side and everything else, Galaxy. All the other buttons click really nicely. There you go. And, uh, yeah. And I think this kit just didn't come with these two buttons, so we left the white. But, uh, yeah. So this is the controller that will come with our budget build 360. All complete. Everything works great. So, yeah. Now let's do the other controller. Uh, on that one, I am think I'm literally just taking the faceplate off. So when you take all the screws out, just this top faceplate comes right off, and you can replace the, the thumbsticks right then and there. In order to get to these other buttons, though, you have to take both other circuit boards off, so that's where it gets really annoying. Um, the front bumpers comes off once the faceplate is off, and the bottom half of the shell, the whole thing, the whole internals just come right off of the bottom shell as well so everything's pretty easy to deal with except for you know the extra all these little buttons here but on the other one i'm not gonna worry about that i'm literally just taking the faceplate off to uh change out our thumbsticks to the red ones to match all the other red buttons so let's do that real quick now all right guys i got the thumbsticks replaced i was right it was just the wire for the uh um rumble pack and the trigger that was kind of in the way not letting this work uh, I did swap the sync button just because sometimes on these aftermarket shells and buttons and whatever they just they're not quite cut out perfectly and that one it was clicking but this just feels a lot better so yeah this is will be officially the controller that goes with this uh, Xbox here I think that looks pretty awesome since we have the clear fan and the red and the white got clear red and white so that's awesome so anyway that's where we're at right now uh next video once i get the uh rotary fittings in we will be installing the pump doing the wiring and basically starting to put all this together and doing testing and stuff like that and then the final video um, of this one will go over the actual pricing on this and how it compares to the budget Xbox one which uh, now that the Batman Xbox is officially sold uh, I'm gonna get that one packed up and ready to go and the next one up will be the budget water-cooled one s I just really want to get this one finished first and kind of do a side-by-side -side with those so Anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video like comment subscribe